So if you get yourself one of these drones, FQ777, that's the name of the drone, it's a quad drone, it's a small drone, you're going to need to um, calibrate it, then we'll talk about that. What you're going to want is a large area, like a carpet area, I move the table away, and I have the drone. Now, unlike a lot of drones, you would think um, blue would be front and red would be back, but actually, with this drone, it's opposite. Just think of it this way. If you are looking at the green blue light, it means, yes, I've got it, it's in the right direction. If you're looking at the red light, think, oh no, it's, it's opposite. It actually works out better this way because, you know, this is the front of the drone, the red light's like warning, be careful, I'm gonna eat you, I'm gonna attack you. So that's the number one, all right? So what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to have it on the carpet here, and all you're gonna do is bounce it, slowly up, uplift it. What you want to do is always turn your drone on first. Okay, so let's just read it this before I show you. Actually, I think I can go back one step. And there's a little button on here. You can turn it off. Here's the controller on the back here. Turn it off. Okay. So what you want to do is first you're going to turn on the drone. here. Now you'll notice what I've done here is I actually have a, a, a rubber, rubber band to give it a little resistance. This is a little trick and all you do is when you take out this battery pack, just attach this rubber band in there and put it on there. So, so basically what I'm going to do is go up for it. You see it goes, it's going backwards, right? So what I've done is actually marked my controllers here. On the right hand side here, This is forward, this is back. So if I, what I'm gonna do is on carpet, it's going back, right? So what I'm gonna do is press this forward a few times. I want this going straight. I don't want it bounce going back at all. But now it's going to the right. So here down here is right, so I want to go to the left. So I'm gonna do that there. to the right. Okay. Obviously I do this standing up, but I'm trying to capture or showing you what I'm doing here. Better. It's better. I think it needs a little bit forward here. One big forward. Oh look at that. It's going a little forward now. One back. That's not bad. One right. That's pretty good. It's going to the right. It's going to the left. It's a couple left. So basically, this is what you want to do. This is how you calibrate. Okay. Left. Left. That's, I think it's about as good as I'm going to get it. Let's put it back. Even I'm doing only one back, one forward. And I've got good two forward. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So. That's how you calibrate this drum. So on the right hand side, you got your forward and your back, your left and your right, and just mark it. I don't know why I didn't mark it on the controllers. It's in the direction, so I just marked it. 
this is if the drone, when I go forward, starts to, let's see, I can change, I'll just, going backwards. If it spins, if the drone is spinning like this, or like this, when you're lifting off, that's what these two are down here. I'm trying to see if I can get to do it. See there, it's spinning there. All right, it's pretty damn close. I'm actually satisfied with this. It's, you know, it's slightly back. Oh, there you go. All right, okay. So that's how you calibrate one of these little drones. So this is a cool little drone. The only downside is the battery does not last very long. So, what I recommend is you get a couple of them if you're going to get them. Now, if you get a couple of them, you're going to end up with a lot of parts. This is actually my other drone. I got parts of my other drone. This is the micro drone, the smallest drone in the world. And um, what two of them basically, I didn't fly them long, and basically um, the props stopped working. So I've got them in here. Maybe I'll try to fix them in the future. But I'm not going to throw them away. I've got the parts all in here and everything else for them. So one thing is the propellers have ups and downs. I call them ups and downs. So the way that I all I do is I hold it so the top is up with this hand and the slant of, of this propeller, okay, when I hold it on the right hand side is down. You can't really see it on here, but if you hold if you touch it, this propeller is basically slanting this way down. If I grab one of these and hold it, hold it, see this is upside down, that's no good. I gotta hold it the other way. Okay. So I've got the top of it. And what you'll notice is this is actually slanting up. That blade is actually not going down, it's going up this far edge here. I'm trying to, trying to uh, hold it, hold up. So simply hold the right side and whichever way this if this is going up this way or down, it's hard to show. But here's the edge. So if the edge is going up, then that's an up. If it's going down, then that's a down. And this is obviously an up. So having a little box like this and having your propellers because basically these propellers are not marked. So if you start pulling off these propellers, like this is a down, right? Holding it here, I can see this is a down. I'm sorry, I'm holding it here. This is an up. It's hard to look down without feeling it. If you feel it, you know this is an up. This is a down, and this is a down. And this is an up. So these are cross or ups, cross or downs. It's very important. If you start pulling off propellers, you'll notice either won't fly, which means you got your propellers on backwards, or you'll feel they'll go one way 